Delicately removing a final layer of dirt, one of the largest excavation sites ever in Medicine Hat comes into the light of day. For years, historians had believed century-old kilns lay below the floor of the protected historical site, relics they found at Medalta just weeks ago. We're finding that the original kilns that were built back in 1912 are in fact, uh, there are some remains from them. From below ground, archaeologists are learning more about the clay industry than they ever could above. While similar to the mid-19th century kilns outside Medalta, the unearthed remnants date back to the turn of the century. At the center of the dig is Talva Jacobson, an archaeologist specializing in industrial history. I've been watching Medelta through probably the last decade. I've been keeping my eye on the progress of this site. Preserved beneath rock and soil, archaeologists are still not sure how old these bricks are. But what they are certain of is how significant their discovery. These unearthed kilns will be to the overall archaeological community in North America. What's exciting is that we have it on record and they're going to be able to at one of their sites if they find something maybe along the border or in a, in a similar pottery town, an industrial town, a new west town, they'll be able to come to us and look at the research and say, hey, you know what, we might have a bottle kiln, we might have a beehive kiln, but there's some research done in Medelta, so let's take a look at their archives and see what they've got going on. We're actually doing some of the uh, very early industrial research that needs to be done in this part of Canada. Entombed for decades, crews have already dusted off what remains of two kilns and expect to find another. Painstaking work to exhume history that could rewrite the book on the pottery industry in Canada and reunite Medicine Hat with its own past. It connects this space to its heritage. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.